Hello, Tendies, Friendies. Welcome back to Tendies Club. Happy Easter. Missed you over the holiday weekend. I hope you had a great holiday weekend. Uh, had a big holiday weekend for Tendies Club. Going to check the audio. Look, audio's okay, I think. Please tell me if the audio is okay. A little disappointed in the audio debacles happening the last week. Although we switched to the new, new mic, so that was uh, that was progress. So uh, welcome back. So we got a great show for you. Uh, R Dub Dub on the Discords made a great visualization for the enrollment for Casada Sciences Cognition Maintenance Study and Two Phase Three Studies. Very cool stuff. We'll take a look at that. Really cool enrollment. I grew a beard over the weekend. Check it out. Uh, Grew a beard and uh, just sent out a Tendies Club small cap report. Very good report, if I do say so myself. Took me the whole weekend to do it and got it out this morning. Uh, and also, also found out how to simulcast. I've been wanting the simulcast. So I didn't get the set done, but I had two big things. Got I got the report and then the sim we got found out how to simulcast. So I'm going to start, hopefully, maybe tomorrow, simulcast on LinkedIn and Twitter, because I got those set up already. And then, so what you do is, I'm using, in, in case anybody else wants to uh, wants to stream, I would I just want to tell you this, because I've been trying to encourage other people to stream. I'm using Ecamm Live to stream. And then in the bottom right, you say, what do you want to stream, like Facebook or YouTube, whatever. And then I've, I've been using, choosing YouTube, but there's also, it has, instead of going to Facebook or YouTube or LinkedIn or whatever, you go to this, you don't send it to any of them, you send it to this other service. And it has three of them there. And it turns out, looks like, Restream has what I want. So for like 20 bucks a month or whatever, you send that to Restream, Restream, simulcast it to all those places. I don't think it does Rumble. If anybody knows how to do Rumble, please tell me. But anyway, so that was good. Uh, check, join the Tennis Club small cabin. It's got a great report out, including a trade, including a trade. Ch check that out. Anyway, let's get into it. Uh, we'll check. Oh, well, the market's tough. Market's tough. But we'll take a look at that stuff. Uh... Not an investment advisor, not investment advice, not a tax advisor, not tax advice, Tendies Club. Uh, great to see you guys. Really happy to see you. Please like and chat and comment and join the free newsletter and subscribe. I never say subscribe to the channel anymore. And from now on, we're not just talking to the YouTube channel. We're talking to everybody, even though this is just YouTube still. We'll say subscribe to whatever or whatever you do on all those other wacky social medias. Let's check this stuff out. Cassava plumbing new depths of the year anyway, touching as low as 2467 at 2489. We'll take a look at enrollment. Been just a brutal one. So a lot of the a lot of the uh, innovation stuff getting crunched. The stock I just sent out is a high yielder, so check that out. What is working? Well, where food comes from is up. Wayside Technologies, that's a yielder, that's up. EIG, that's a yielder, that's up. IKT is up. All four of those are Tendies Club small cap newsletter, just saying. Sign up, those stocks are, are doing pretty well. Plus, Elders is not on there because it's Australian. It just went into the 14s, got behind it in the 11s. But I just said, look at the, it just reported a great quarter. It only went up 11%. Its profits were up 25%, and most of it was organic. Only went up 11%. There's still ways to go. Now it went from 13 into the 14s. Still going. All right. So check this visualization out. Now, where do I move myself? I guess I'll leave my... I'll, we can, well, I'll leave myself right there and then we'll move this around. But this is from R Dub Dub, and no surprise there because he's done some incredible work. This is a visualization of the spreadsheets he's done, which we've looked at on the show. Judging from the press releases and whenever they the company has given us information based on those numbers, he then has projected out to the future. Uh, enrollments. And now here's a visualization of those numbers. Incredible stuff. Incredible stuff. So uh, let's do some zoom action. All right. So yellow and let's just see what we're working with here. So lots of CMS. So cognition maintenance study. So remember there's the open label, 12 month open label. And then if this is for cassava sciences, that's the other thing is I go to all these different uh, social medias. I want to uh, not, not get right into the story, but give background, give background. So cassava sciences as part of its phase two, which may lead to breakthrough therapy designation and possibly early to market for its Alzheimer's drug, Simifilam, has what's called a cognition maintenance study. So they met with the FDA, they came out of that end of phase two meeting and said, you know what, we're not done phase two. So no, we didn't get breakthrough, but we're, not also, we're also not done phase two. 
look at this. We met with a guy that does breakthrough at uh, FDA, and we came out of that meeting with this cognition maintenance study stuff. So cognition maintenance study is after the 12 month open label, they go into 12 month uh, cognition, the 12 month uh, half on drug, half on placebo. And that should be more than a hundred people, about 200 uh, going into open label for a year. From there, more than a hundred will randomize half on, half off the drug for six months. And then everybody back on for six more months. So that's cognition maintenance. So here we have, uh, so see cognition maintenance, active patients on, so that's 100 uh, milligrams. And then uh, orange is active patients on placebo. So you can see where we are now, we're right here. But that, as we can see the, at the end of the end of last year and into this year, end of last year into this year, that's been enrolled and we know that. But now, okay, so that, that's those two. And then we have a, another, now we're we'll getting these, but we have another color coming into view. So finished CMS active in, in six month open label. And let's just finish off the CMS stuff. So and then we have, as we see the blues and the purples, and then even a red that's also CMS. I know this is gonna get complicated, but first of all, let's just look at the jump. Let's, let's just take a bird's eye view before we get too in, in, into the weeds here. This is where we are right here, and we're just now getting this uh, beautiful rainbow of colors as uh, the four different arms of refocus. Yeah, the four different arms of, excuse me, three different arms of refocus enroll, the two different arms of rethink enroll, uh, and then different portions, all, all sorts of different portions of CMS. So that's where we stand here today is 422 right here and then look at the enrollment this is all based on released numbers and we know that the go uh, government that the uh, management has been conservative uh, or very conservative with us so I'm, it looks like I mean their numbers we're willing to rely on them so and we also know that it's, they've gotten uh, more than a hundred sites opened up for the phase threes that takes a while itself uh, it takes a while to get them online. Then even after they're online, it takes about another month. And then, at, then it takes about another month after people start to, to come in. Uh, it takes about a month to screen them and then enroll them. So that all that takes a while. So we shouldn't be too surprised that we've really plateaued there for a while. So, end of, so October and November here, uh, they enrolled these trials. Or they 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 started these trials. They opened up those sites and they started uh, the, the getting the sites open to enroll these trials. The, the sites were launched. Were they getting people randomized? Now they are. And they said last there was like thirty in each, uh, or something like that. Thirty or sixty in each trial. I can't remember. Thirty in each trial. Uh, so now all that groundwork. The groundwork is is has been laid. And now look. At the, uh, we're about to go up the roller coaster, climbing the, the roller coaster, Ooh, ah, and then nobody has Alzheimer's anymore, and we have a lot of fun, or something like that. It's, it treats people's Alzheimer's hopefully very well, and, and we think very well, uh, especially compared to what's out there. Okay, so enrollment is just about to get very. So as we peak in uh, peak enrollment, that's about 11 months away. So March of 23, we should have peak enrollment numbers. And, and by, so let's just take a look at peak enrollment numbers, by the way. So th these, these are just easier for me to see. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay up here at these peak numbers. These are easiest for me to see. So when we get to peak numbers, this will have 361 about refocus active subjects on placebo. So re refocus has three arms. That's the 18 month. Uh, 50, or a third of the people get 50 milligrams. A third of the people get 100 milligrams. And a third of the people get placebo. So that's the yellow, uh, or let's call that watermelon and pink, uh, 361 between those arms there, the three refocus. And then two 375s, we got the uh, <laughs> two other types of watermelon and pink down there. Uh, it's so hard. I don't know if you guys have ever done a chart. You run out of colors so quickly. It's amazing. It's like, how many? I thought there were more colors than this. You run out of colors so fast when you do a chart. Uh, and so the 375, 375 uh, for, re, for rethink, okay, great. And then uh, all the different levels of CMS being in, the placebo portion being in, the uh, open label enrollment after, afterward being pre-enrolled, all that stuff, or still being in the open label rather. 
and then so all that ends by a year from now. The last person, last person uh, in the uh, going into the last person in the open label, last person in the six month portion. So we know that in uh, September of last year, the last person was enrolled. And I, I know it's it's after this long weekend. I'm, I'm not very smooth, am I? And I didn't have much time to prepare for this after switching from writing that other report. We know that in September of last year, the open label trial was fully enrolled of more than 200 people. And so we know that September of this year, no matter what, it'll be done. And then that'll be the very uh, that'll be that'll start the clock on the last person starting the CMS. From there, there's a year because there's six month placebo, which we could get results after six months, or they could wait another six months and after everybody goes back on open label placebo. They may not do that because they, they have everybody a year on placebo, or excuse me, everybody a year on the drug, and then six months, half people on the half drug, half people on placebo, and then to go back to six months on the drug, they, they, they could show what happens on the placebo because it's very relevant, very relevant. Most is especially when it is uh, a direct, 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 direct comparison to, uh, to the phase threes. It's placebo versus not placebo, uh, placebo versus drug uh, phase three uh, trial, placebo controlled trial. So, so uh, and then, so then by April, so we know that it's September. So by April of, ne of uh, next year, the April of 2024, everybody will be done, uh, all, all of that. So anyway, this awesome dealio is available on, if you guys can, want, want to talk more about it, we can. I'm just not doing a very good job of deciphering. It's available on the Discord. It makes more sense with the uh, spreadsheet. Uh, I've got to get, I, I, uh, I got to get the spreadsheet open. But with that, my tennis friendies, let's just go to the telephones We'll get uh, some action from the stock up there. Cassava not looking too good. But again, leading the league where food comes from, Wayside Technology Group, inhibit case and employers all up about 1%. So for the attendees club small cappers, Doing, uh, doing a little bit better, but need a better day for cassava. We know this. All right, let's go to the phones. Let's go to the phones. Great to see you guys. Sign up for the free newsletter in the description. Well, that's a capital idea. I like the cut of that young man's jib. Alrighty. Hello, Keyshawn. Hi, Keyshawn. Hi, Joe. Good afternoon, good afternoon, my, good afternoon to you, my friend. Great to see you. Great, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for being here, my friend. Rasmus, it is a good afternoon. Oh, good audio. Okay, that's what you're saying, Rasmus. Thank you very much. Glad, okay. Yeah, gotta make sure the audio the audio gets going. So yeah, I was gonna do the uh, the set. I didn't get around to that. I was working on that report, but I'm very excited to do the simulcasting. That's gonna increase the audience by a lot, I hope. So uh, that'll be good. And then I'll get the... Uh, AdSense going on YouTube, so on YouTube it should start broadcasting me more. And then I think I'm going to switch. I'll do noon biotech every day, every market day still. Tendies Club at noon, so no change there. But I think I'm going to, uh, uh, I'll do that at noon, but I'm going to uh, just start also. I'll do one, I think, one news story at noon, one, whatever's happening in, with cassava. If nothing cassava, then the other Alzheimer's or psychedelic stocks. If nothing, I'm there. Then just biotech, and we'll do that at noon. And then just talk, and then, and then we'll do the biotech and the chatting at noon. And then I'll just start doing instead of having four stories at noon, I'll just start doing four different uh, uh, videos and start doing. So we'll do every day at noon, and then random ones as well. I think. So hopefully, hopefully multiple videos again once I get everything going. We'll see. We'll see. Hisham says, "Keep it up." Thank you, my friend. I really appreciate it. Thank you, my friend. Sky guy, Joe, could Compass end up like Amarin in U.S. court if uh, brings a drug market? You said that last time, Sky guy. Their uh, uh, IP is being challenged, but they won a challenge on merits already. 
And somebody, and I don't know if it was you or somebody else, one of the things that was said was wrong because they're not actually, it's not actually plant-based, it's totally chemical-based, it's synthesized. Uh, but I can't remember what that argument was. What do you think about us savages putting together a petition and sending it to Remy, begging him to take some action, any action to fight the shorting attack? Uh, truthful, that's, I, I, I'm, I, I share this sentiment and I want to, but I, I, we have more work to do with the NFT and uh, well, so let's go to them with a, with a complete solution. And I know you've, you've done some great work here in, in reaching out and, uh, and, 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 and which is exactly what we have to do. But I just want to have more, uh, I, I want to reach out with the whole solution. The, he, he has enough pressure on him. Uh, us demanding, the, because I, I don't have a demand other than I want him to do our solution, but we don't have our solution yet. We're getting there though. We have, we've identified at least one potential network to host NFTs. Uh, we've, uh, in, a, in a very reasonable price, like $44,000, we could do 40. We identified a way to, to make 44 million individual JPEGs. Uh, so we're making some headway. And, and Jacob Braun of Braun Capital reached out to me before the show. He just met with uh, T0 executives. They built their blockchain network to host stocks and do, uh, and that was from the Overstock. Overstock built T0 and then uh, put their Overstock preferred dividend on it and then a few other companies listed on it. He just met with executives. I did not have time to, to uh, in, information share. Uh, and he is also, I think, releasing our video today on Cassava on Best of Us Investors. So a lot going on, a lot going on, a lot going on. La, 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 la. I'll tell you, this came fast. I was really, really, really thrilled when I realized it was Good Friday and had an extra day. I, I had a great weekend of productivity and still did not get nearly enough. I did like very, very happy with what I got done and just so much yet to do, so much left to do, so many miles to go. Oh, but it's all good. Leon uninstalled my brokerage app today, holding strong till end of phase three. I love it. Yeah, if if uh, hodling, I mean, it's 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 first of all, it's been brutal for the whole market, most especially growth and innovation, small growth and innovation. They're back to where things were five years ago, five years of gains in a really terrific bull market, just all given back. So this counts as blood in the streets, uh, and that, if hodling and just not watching every day and doing something better with your time, that, I think that sounds like a great idea. Watching Tendi's Club over and over and over, for example, to enlighten oneself, for example. <laughs> Going out into nature and taking your mobile and watching Tendi's Club. <laughs> isn't Saba having, hello Bill, isn't Saba having an earnings call tomorrow? Maybe Remy might provide a positive surprise. Uh, I don't think they're having a call, are they? Are they having a call? And no, I don't think they're having earnings anyway. <laughs> so I don't, I, maybe, I don't, I don't know. I don't, uh, maybe they're having, like, it's... They just did the 10K though. So I don't think they, so two, two and a half weeks after the first quarter ends, it does not make any sense. So I don't, you might be thinking of a different company. Oh, you know what? IKT has something, there's a presentation coming up. Maybe you're thinking of that. Yan Jan, my friend. Great that you picked the chart from the Discord up, Joe. Really awesome work from your friend there. Our dub dub has been this as, as, yet again. This has been a group effort. We're in this together. We're doing this together. And yeah, uh, his our dub dub. Uh, some I mean, that's what's so impressive about our audience is we don't have we're not you know ten million strong, but everybody is so interesting and cool, and everybody always comes up with these really cool things, either cool ideas or cool uh, uh, initiatives that they do or, or something like this. And uh, it's really, really, we got an awesome community of awesome people and a worthwhile cause and terrible enemies. So <laughs> we're in it together. So yeah, so thank, thank you, Jan, and thank you, R-Dub-Dub. -Dub. Jake, is Jacob Braun video today? Last I was told it was, and I believe it is. Daily, seeing how things are going, I see it as a chance to load up enough shares until the approval but also hope that the company is ready to move to a blockchain. I that could really, really be huge. I mean, it, it sure is lousy now, but 
this is what I mean. This is what a buying opportunity feels like. It doesn't feel like euphoria. It feels like, oh God, how bad could it get? That's what a buying opportunity feels like. So, uh, and then, but then it's like, yeah, but the shorts can keep their games up forever. Yeah, but the blockchain should work, and they're they're amenable to it. So they've said, I forget what their words were, but isn't that a good word? Amenable. I'm pretty sure that's a good word. The apt word, amenable to it. So that, that's why all I'm saying to truthful is I do want to go to them, but I want to go to them with a fully baked plan. They have enough on their plate. Look at all that they're doing. Look at this visualization. I can't, I can't even understand the visualization of all this stuff they're doing. <laughs> they, 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 they can't, they've got enough on their plate. They can't be tasked with being experts in blockchain. We, we've got to figure that out for them. For us, for all of us, for everybody. Thank you very much, Daily Mr. Hemmings. Shorts want this to zero. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And management doesn't seem to want to fight back. Very frustrating. It, it, that is the, that is the uh, perspective. I, I can see the optics of that. But uh, the blockchain, the blockchain. Yes, I think so, Jake. And Jake says, is Jacob Vaughn video today? Daily says, best way to advertise for our drug here is to ask White House to use it. <laughs> I'm not sure the people in the White House know what color the White House is. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Does Saba also make drugs for pets? Hmm. You know, when it comes to, like, heart disease, they say that, like, dogs and things, what I understand, they don't have those problems because they, they, they have other problems and they don't live long enough to have things like heart disease. I thought dementia was the same way and maybe the other things. Maybe not, though. I don't know. They, they get gray. My dog is... My dog's turning gray along with me, and he can't just ferment himself like myself, so. <laughs> Last week, my whole family got corona. I'm sorry to hear that, Jan, Jake, uh, Jan Jen. I hope that everybody's okay. We are now in quarantine. I hope this new, what is it, like the BA dot something? I, ho I, hope, it's, I hope it's not a bad, bad strain. What was the first thing I did after the bad news? <laughs> Bought 100 shares more Sava. Must believe in karma. <laughs> I hope uh, blessings to you and your family, my friend. Dance the talk. Great to see you, Dana. Hi, Joe. Just popping up to say thank you for being the leader in this dark period. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Thank you for all your positivity. Everybody watch Dance the Talk on YouTube. Outstandingly wonderful dancing by uh, Dana. Thank you for your positivity and your contributions. Thank you, Dana. Rasmus. Joe, can you recap on how exactly the blockchain will fix these issues with the shorts, fix the issues with the shots? Well, I don't know what it'll do with the shots. It'll fix the issues with the shorts, though. I don't know about the shots, though. I mean, aren't they still able to have their phantom shares? I'm a complete noob on the blockchain. It's a terrific question, and it's more of what I need to be, we need to be doing, I think, uh, on the show. I take for granted that everybody's watched everything and remembers everything and, and, uh, and uh, as if I under as if I explained it so well the first time and all that stuff. So, uh, so uh, the common shares on the regular exchanges, they can create phantom shares as we know. Uh, they can, and they can do it legally with market maker exceptions and international subsidiaries where it's legal in the UK, for example, to take one share and uh, borrow it uh, and lend it out and then lend it out again and lend it out again and lend it out again and lend it out again literally an infinite number of times and then or they can create uh, phantom shares using options just manufacturing them and then why would the prime break brokers do that because they get they do it with the uh, ones that are hard to borrow like asava uh, the the shorts have, have attacked and are trying to take the zero they're paying like 30 percent a year to, to short it so they've got to get returns of better than 30 percent a year just to just to break even so the, that's why the prime brokers they can do it legally, and they will never stop doing it because they're making a ton. Literally, literally, we looked at this, literally, most of the money that JP Morgan and Deutsche Bank and all of the criminal money center banks that are based out of New York, basically, uh, most of the money they make is doing this, is, is, uh, is I, forget the, the word, I forget the euphemism they use for it, uh, like lending. They just call it lending or whatever, lending, lending, lending the shares. They don't even lend the shares. They don't even locate them. They phantomly create them anyway, so they can do that forever, and they do. Uh, and then, and so we think so. The people that buy the shares think they have the shares, but they don't. A broker like E Trade will say, "Okay, 
uh, 10 million, uh, so clients of ours think they own 10 million shares, uh, but we only have 1 million shares. And, uh, all the, and even though there's an entry in the ledger for each of these people to have them, if all 10 million of them go to sell at the same time, uh, they don't have them. We don't, the, the, uh, we don't have those shares. So, uh, so anyway, so those, but that, that, that still doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So they, they can still do that. So there's, they can keep that charade up forever. But on the blockchain, you can't have phantom shares. Everything has an individual identifier. The ledger, like E-Trade's ledger, the ledger is not in some central place where somebody can have uh, fake books. It's the ledger spread over everybody's computer on the network. And so, you, so there's no fan, you can't fake anything. So you have, so there's an individual identifier. There's no sense of you owning a share, but no, really you don't own it. No, you know the shares you own. You even know the identifier numbers of the shares you own. Uh, or, oh, okay, okay, so then if this was all on the blockchain in the first place, this never, this phantom share stuff never could have happened. Okay, but uh, so then, okay, so if we issue an NFT on the blockchain, how does that solve everything? And I do apologize if, uh, if this is too long-winded. This is, I feel, I have three days off. I, I feel like I get into good practice streaming. And three days off, I, I, I do feel out of practice. So on the blockchain, each one of these shares, everybody that has a share, um, everybody thinks they have a share, but most people don't. But then they're going to issue these NFTs, these JPEG images on the blockchain. So everybody has to get one. But if everybody gets one, they can go and check and say, okay, my here's mine. I can see it on the blockchain. I know it's real because it's on the blockchain. Well, if, when they have to deliver uh, 44 million NFTs, uh, I'm sorry, when, when every single common share when everybody that thinks thinks they have a common share is due to receive an NFT on the blockchain, they're going to demand it. Uh, they, I mean, either they can just say, sorry, we don't pay out the thing. You don't actually have a share. They had, the broker has to tell you, you don't get yours because you never really had a share. Even though you use E-Trade, we, we were lying to you the whole time. You never had shares. Or, and then the whole game is, is up. So they would have had to do that in Overstock's case. Overstock issued a... Uh, it's, just, it's just called an NFT. They issued a token. Okay, so they issued a token, just as we're saying. They issued a token on the T0 network. And before that token ever came out, their common stock went 40x because all of those phantom shares would have to pay out something that would be impossible to pay out. And no, and, and no one wanted to be last in line, so they all covered. So it's impossible to pay out... Uh, pay out the NFTs from phantom shares. It makes the correct share count uh, come to pass. So if they issue those NFTs uh, to help enroll the trials, to help the tr enroll the trials faster, especially in layer of the FUD, we, we need this publicity to help enroll these trials. Look at all these lies about the company. And that's the business case because they can't do it just to fry the shorts. They're not allowed to do that. But they, they if, I mean, they can... They can issue an NFT. What's what's more? What gets more publicity than the blockchain? Nothing. So for forty four thousand dollars, they get this publicity stunt to enroll the trials. They're allowed to do publicity use stunts to enroll the trials. Companies do it every day. It's part of marketing. It's good marketing. So it's a publicity stunt to enroll the trials. And if it fries the shorts too bad, it's on the, the you can't fake those uh, those tokens. It's what Overstock did. Now Overstock did preferred shares, but it was just a token on the blockchain. Those preferred shares eventually were going to pay cash dividends, but the stock went 40x even before the, those preferred shares were even issued, before they were even issued, let alone paid cash dividends. So just the fact that they were going to have to come up with something that they couldn't possibly come up with, they had to cover. So I don't see why it wouldn't happen with cassava, and the cassava could be, some people say there's 400 million shares instead of the 40 million, so it could be the Moas, the mother of all short squeezes. So. Lots of comments. If the plan for the blockchain and NFTs is ready, do shareholders still need to approve it or can the board then simply implement the plan? I don't know. That's a good question. I think they were so careful with their words at the fireside chat that whatever they need to do, I think it's been cleared. 
because they, I mean, they gave us very little, but they gave us that. They like made a point to say, I forget what the words were, but they were, they were open to it. LOL. I wish I knew what you were laughing at. Uh, what do you think about messaging Remy and asking for help uh, getting open label testimonials? I don't think they can do that. That is, I think they can be happy that we do it, but they're, they're, they're really treading on some dangerous territory there. They're not allowed to make claims. You and I can make claims because we're, we're not associated with the company, but uh, they're, they're not, that, that could get, they don't, they just wouldn't, I, I, even I think that would be a bad idea, even if technically they weren't, and we knew for sure they weren't breaking any, lo any rules, it would be too close to breaking the rules. It would just, be, they would, they would, it would be too much heat. I think they have to short, but with actual cash, not like the stupid way they do on regular stock platforms. Can we sue prime brokers in the name of shareholders? Can you think, uh, you think they can put up a fight, for example, go after Robinhood and platforms that don't give you the option to stop lending? So Robinhood's not a prime broker like JP Morgan and Morgan Chase, and uh, JP Morgan and Morgan Stanley and Deutsche Bank and the big, the big, the big money center banks are the prime brokers, Goldman. Uh, when they, that one, we saw Mark Cahotis say that he was giving a hundred million to Goldman Sachs. He didn't have all of his accounts at Goldman Sachs. He was a, he ran a hedge fund and did some short things in one year. He gave them more than a hundred million dollars. And then in like, when in, in accidentally released unredacted court documents from a Goldman Sachs lawyer, it was shown, shown that people were bragging in the company about uh, do, doing this, uh, creating phantom shares with no intention to have delivery at all. And, they, and even though this one guy with his one account gave them $100 million in one year, their total fine for everything was $20 million. <laughs> so, I mean, they just, they just get, keep doing it and laugh. So we could sue them, I suppose. I don't know. We'd have to prove damages. It'd be tough, and it'd be an uphill fight, and... The lawyers would win, that's for sure. But on April twentieth, uh, remember what Dave Lauer uh, from who used to work at Citadel, and he was speaking with Wes Christian in one of the interviews we watched. He started a I can't remember the name of it, a citizens thing. I've talked about it on here, like to go after to change. The, the, like, I, I shared it here and in the Discord. Uh, anyway, I volunteered, and there's the first meeting for volunteers. I volunteered to promote it. I, I said I can promote their thing on Tendies Club. So there's a meeting on the 20th. I'm going to there their, to do all this. So we'll, I'll come back. I'll come back. They, they have very specific uh, changes they want to make to legislation. We've talked about all kinds of legislation changes, legislative changes there could be, but there's just no will to do it. There's the, 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 the criminals make so much money, and they buy off the politicians. So... Uh, maybe Sava can support the plan through hiring a blockchain expert if we inform him about the plan. Maybe it'd be good to work together up now to reach the goal faster. That is what our dub dub says. He wants to hire somebody. My idea, I, I rather go to them with the entire plan. Uh, he wants to uh, hire somebody. That I, I, I think you and he are right if they hire the right person. Uh, I would rather, I'd rather just, <laughs> frankly, I'd rather the person be revealed by uh, finding out how to do this. We, I want us to have a fully baked plan and the people that step up and do it, uh, that let them do it, let, let them uh, apply. But the other thing is that it's got, it has to be, they have to have the appearance of the business case, not just frying the shorts. So got to keep that in mind as well. But it's a good, it's, it's a good idea, Rainer, and, and, uh, and our, our dub dub. Daily, maybe that won't work, but for sure get attention. Yep, that's true. Yeah, so maybe, who knows? Maybe it somehow it won't work technically, but it will enroll the trials. <laughs> uh, thanks, wife and me are vaccinated. Okay, feels like the flu. Kids in, impatient to get out again. Well, I'm, I'm glad it's only that stuff. Agree, Rainer. Miles, okay, so you guys want to hire somebody. Miles, what happens when you sell your stock after being on blockchain? Does it transfer to a new stockholder automatically? So this goes back to another question somebody asked. What happens after that NFT is issued? Can't they just uh, go back to shorting the common stock? Yes, they can. They can do it all over again. 
And then we can just issue another NFT all over again and write it back up 40X if that's what they want to do. So uh, there's separate things from that. Once the NFT is issued, if you sell your common share, it, it, it's just it's just as if you own AT&T and Cassava at that point. They have nothing to do with, e with each other. Rasmus, that brings up another question. Among us, we probably use a lot of different brokers. I use my Danish bank and their investing platform. That is uh, going to be a sticky wicket. It seems that generating the uh, JPEGs, okay, we can do that. Uh, putting them on a network, well, we can hire a company to host, seems like for less than a tenth of a penny. Uh, so that that's, seems, okay, we can do that. But then how do we deliver these? How do people receive these? And that's a whole other thing. Good question. So that we, we have work to do there. But uh, Overstock did it. And uh, you can trade Overstock's preferred, did preferred, share preferred shares on E-Trade, even though it only uh, trades on the T0 network, the E-Trade brokerage has access to that network. So we'll see what uh, Jacob comes back with. He just met with those T0 people. Uh, Rasmus, so how in the heck would I be able to connect my Sava shares from there with the blockchain? That is the question, my friend. Jay... Hi, Joe, you demand, you demand, my friend. Thank you. And Jay, I will say, nice head of hair. As I grew my beard, it was I was thinking about maybe I'll try to grow my hair out, but it's probably too, well, I used to have long hair and it was really cool, but it's probably, it's probably too much work and, and, and then it wouldn't be, it wouldn't really, wouldn't really work in the end for all that uh, effort and embarrassment. But you, my friend, have a nice head of hair. Hi, Joe, you demand, how do you know if modern securities laws allow for the broker to hold more or less shares than are showing on the client's statements, uh, I don't know. That's just what I'm. That's just what's deduced from. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily like the broker. Like the, if the prime brokers tell the brokers, I'm not really sure. How, I, frankly, I don't know the technicalities of how the prime brokers say, "Here's your shares." I don't know. I don't. I don't frankly know. And I'm, 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 I'm very suspicious that the reason that they're not transparent about that is that it's very unacceptable in that they just plainly don't have the shares and get paid for it. <laughs> Ryan, we need to get working on it as soon as possible. Agreed, my friend. Uh, the way to work on it is to figure out what the next steps are, right? So let's, let's ask what can we do next and figure out what the next steps are. Jan Ra Jan Rasmus, date a organized problem at Tixland, same topic in Germany. We were not even asked to vote for the new 4 million shares. These brokers, I will tell you. I will tell you, they are something else. I laughed at my own typo, shots instead of shorts. Well, you took a shot, my friend. You, you typed it uh, the short version. You took a shot and typed the short version. Mike P, what about using issuing preferred shares for every common share monthly? Value of one-tenth of a preferred share per month. Hedge funds would have to come up with preferred shares monthly. Something like that would technically work. Now, you still need the business case, though. You can't do it only to fry the shorts. It'd be pretty tough to argue in court. We needed <laughs> for the business case of enrolling our trials and, and uh, researching our drug, we needed to issue preferred shares every month. <laughs> you know, that uh, it'd be, you'd have, to, you'd have to pass the smell test in court. I think Overstock moved the shares on the blockchain without shareholders doing anything. Yeah, a shareholder uh, didn't have to do anything. They, T0, the network, did the work of uh, engaging the big brokers and saying, we're the first, I think the first, uh, stock exchange that's all blockchain, uh, partner up with us and give access to your clients, and they did. And so then they were able to do it that way. Jay, thanks for that. It was dyed at the time I took this photo. Well, I, you know what, I couldn't tell. A nice chestnut, chestnut color, my friend. Daily, I think Congress holding a committee to discuss changing laws of trading and the big crime happening in the market. 
Yeah, now we'll see. That stuff is usually theater for them to pretend that they care <laughs> while being paid off. But yeah. So reissue ETFs a few times a year would be your best plan. Or EFTs, yes. Yeah, if we did quarterly NFTs, that would do it. I mean, they would have to, They that would do it. Frankly, uh, they could... The, Doing it once and saying this really helped us enroll our trials. Uh, we, you know, as we do our uh, our long term safety uh, studies and, and as we experiment in uh, other indications, we're going to do this NFT thing again. Looking forward to that. That would that alone would probably do it. Rasmus Jan, nice to know we have. Or again, we could just actually actually try to enroll the trials with the NFTs and do it successfully and say, oh wow. It did help us enroll the enroll the trials. How about that? It actually was an actual business case. <laughs> uh, could be the best plan. Yes, Erasmus Jan Jan. Nice to know we have that same issue and same on the vote. Uh, J T two was registration. Perhaps since it is still in effect, the companies can insist the T zero exchange used for registration only. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. T, so T2 and T0 there. So T2 is uh, you short the stock and then you get on your bicycle. You have two days to get on your bicycle and go uh, find it, go locate it, and then deliver it. <laughs> so that is definitely a, a, an insane holdover from the old days. That just needs to be fixed. And the reason it's not is because it's organized crime. So yeah, T0, there's no electronic stuff. There's no reason to wait two days to deliver, to deliver a stock. T0. So without a breakthrough therapy designation, Sava has about two and a half years to go. Could be. Although the phase threes on the gov, the dot gov, clinicaltrials.gov, I think they're listed to, to, to finish in 2023. Now that doesn't seem right to me, but I think they are listed to finish in 2023. Cool. Well, that, which not with that's that's very, very, very optimistic. So they started in 2021, so it's actually possible. But very optimistic. <laughs> Quezzy, glad, good to see you, Joe Quezzy. Great to see you, my friend. Just got out of work. We'll catch up on the rest of the video. Outstanding stuff. I wish I had a better. Wish I had a better show for you. <laughs> good show. This this turned into a good show just because you guys are here and we're all chatting, and of course because uh, of Dub Dub's uh, graphic. Paul, what about liquidity on the blockchain? Uh, so there you go. So the now this calls this to me is fine. The the threat there is well, you know, if if for example the common shares are listed on a blockchain instead of the old exchange, you might not have all the fake buys and sells. So the market makers may not be there providing liquidity, which is true possibly. But I, to me, that's fine. I don't want if there's no fake buys and sells, and it's only ever. Real buys and sells? That sounds terrific. That sounds great to me. <laughs> this nonsense about how we need the market makers are actually doing a service. I don't buy it. And by the way, it's all fake liquidity. It's all front running. They find out somebody wants to buy and sell and they front run it. When there's an emergency in the market and you need liquidity, it totally dries up. They don't give you liquidity when you need it, when you want it. It's all fake liquidity. It's all fake. So... It's there's there the market makers are in it for themselves. Surprise, surprise. They've got laws that favor them in, re, in criminal ways. So, yeah, I, if you removed all the fake buying there, well, you, it's a great point. There would be a lot less liquidity if stocks traded on the blockchain or, or when they do. But that's that'll be that'll be a good, good day. A good thing. It's a good thing, if you ask me. Corruption. Agreed. Treason. We have enough money to go six years, not two and a half. Yeah, we got, fortunately, $200 million will do that for you. Find it hard to believe cassava management is too busy to implement this NFT plan. It's just not fully baked. We have, we have to fully bake the plan. Plus, NFT will make money for the company. Maybe. It could. It's, that's true. I didn't even think about that. We can make it so that uh, you, every time the, the NFT is resold, the company gets a dollar. 
Hi, Joe. Could the company issue warrants for every common share tied to preferred shares? Whoops. Hi, Joe. Can the company issue warrants for every common share tied to preferred shares, i.e. stock dividend? Uh, they could. I've talked to Mr. Barbier about warrants, and I think he used the word toxic. Pain therapeutics used warrants in their past. They're generally used to... Uh, they give the, so the, those convertibles. Convertibles uh, just for like death spiral financing, so they... Or I guess, I guess that's not necessarily, but they'll uh, convert. Convertibles give you the chance to manipulate, uh, and so they're, they generally they've been used in not the nicest ways. Mister Barbier, I think he used the word toxic when he talked about warrants, so I don't think he's going to do warrants. But they could, that's another another interesting idea, though. It's a good good thing to as we're as we're coming up with our plans here to, to think about all the different options. I like it. Alrighty, so not bad for a long weekend getting the cobwebs out. I got, I got that. Go check out that report. I did that report, so got to you know had to switch gears here. Uh, but uh, so hopefully the market will come back a little. Cassava in the meantime still still in the twenty fours twenty four seventy nine, but wayside and EIG and where food comes from are still still green. IKT went a little bit red, so tough day out there, especially for growth and innovation. What else is new? Last week's winners, Lixty and Viru, did they keep running? No, they did not. They're getting poleaxed, 15.92% and 13% down. Immune bio, so Cordexzyme, so Cassava's not even the worst Alzheimer's player. It's just a terrible market. If it makes you feel better, Roblox is at $39.52. Let's look at where Nancy Pelosi bought her calls. So it was like this. It was like this, this little this dip right here. She's like, ah, I bought the dip. <laughs> I bought the dip right here. Uh, I think that was it. And so anyway, she bought out of the money calls, or maybe it was in the seventies. Maybe I think, I think I'm being I think I'm being unfair. I think it was right here. I think she bought this dip right here, and she bought this. So this was in the seventies. Roblox was in the seventies. Uh, maybe this was it right here. No, 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 it wasn't. She was in the seventies. So let's call it right here. This is called right here. Roblox is in the seventies, and she bought calls to buy Roblox in, at one hundred. She spent a million dollars on out of the money calls on Roblox. And Roblox is now in the 30s. It needs to go over 100. It needs to go well over 100. It needs to go over 100 for her to get her money back. So she flushed a million dollars down the toilet on that one and everything else she invested at that time. Going, I mean, she's rich and went uh, leveraged, long leveraged, and uh, blew up in her face. So if it makes you feel better, uh, you know, we are not the only ones feeling pain. All right, my friends, great to see you. We'll do it again tomorrow uh, at noon. And uh, thanks so much for being here. Have a great night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.